Alas, those first settlers, sent across the ocean by the Dorchester Company, were unable to live off the sea in these rock-bound fields. They moved a few miles south to what is now Salem in 1626. Then, within a decade, there were enough permanent settlers on Cape Ann to incorporate the town of Gloucester. The first meeting house was built on the town green in 1642 near what is now the Grant Circle Rotary of Route 128. The city set this land aside as a public park in 1898. New England hath water enough, both salt and fresh. The greatest sea in the world, the Atlantic Sea, runs all along the coast thereof. The abundance of sea fish is almost beyond believing, and sure I should scarce have believed it except I had seen it with mine own eyes. I saw great store of whales and crampus and such abundance of mackerels that it would astonish one to behold. Likewise, codfish abundant on the coast and in their season are plentifully taken. There is a fish called a bass, a most sweet and wholesome fish as I ever did eat. It is altogether as good as our fresh salmon, and the season of their coming was begun when we first came to New England in June, and so continued about three months. Of this fish, our fishermen take many hundreds together, which I have seen lying on the shore to my admiration. Yea, their nets ordinarily take more than they are able to haul, and for want of boats and men they are constrained to let many go, and yet sometimes they fill two boats at a time with them. And besides bass, we have plenty of skate and thornback, and an abundance of lobsters, that the least boy in the plantation may both catch and eat what he will of them. For my own part, I was soon cloyed with them, they were so great and fat and luscious. I have seen some myself that have weighed 16 pounds, but others have had divers times so great, lobsters that have weighed 25 pounds, they assured me. Also, here is the abundance of herring, turbot, sturgeon, cusks, haddocks, mullets, eels, crabs, mussels, and oysters. The Reverend Francis Higginson, 1629, A Short and True Description of New England.